Let's say we wanted to set up an automated trading strategy to trade a channel. And when we're crossing into the channel from the top, we want to short. And when we are crossing from the bottom, we want to buy. Well, we can set that up. Let's take a look. Over here, we're going to take a look at a chart of AMD back in 2023. And let's set up our channel. Grab our line tool from pivot to pivot. All right, so let's say this is the channel we wanted to set up. So what we want to do is set alerts on both lines. So on the top line, we'll set up an alert for our cross. So what I want to do is that if I'm crossing back down into the channel on the trend line, I want to go ahead and buy. So first, I'm going to make sure that I have my webhook URL set up so that I can send the information that I need over to Traders Post. Let's go to Traders Post into my strategies. In my channel strategy, I'm going to grab the webhook URL. And then in my message, I need to set up the JSON payload. I'm going to go ahead and grab that from view webhook at the top right, or I can go to the documentation section, grab the code, paste it in. As usual, ticker will be replaced with ticker, buy will be, well, we won't actually sell here at the close price. We create and do the same thing for the next line. So there we go. We have our alert set up for this to buy and sell as we enter and exit the channel. Now here I have it that if a buy happens, it reverses a sell. And if a sell happens, it reverses a buy. That we can see inside of our strategy subscription. And if I were to take a look at that, I can see that site swapping is currently available on the strategy. But let's say I don't want to wait until a sell signal happens for it to reverse a buy and vice versa. What if I want to set a certain uh, percentage for stop loss or take profits? Well, I can do that. Let's head over to the documentation, webhooks, and on the right side, I have take profits and stop loss. So let's take a look at signal take profit. And I'm going to want to set a percentage amount. For this percentage, let's say I'm going to want something simple. Let's measure something out. We'll do, let's do 7%. And we'll add a stop loss. Of 2%. Let's do the same thing for the other side. So there we go. Now when the buy and sell happens, there's automatically a take profit and stop loss associated with that. We have to make one more modification to our subscription so that it's set up to be able to use those signals. Let's head back to our dashboard. We're going to go to our subscriptions and I'm going to head over to the signal take profit and stop loss. And when I save, the subscription will use these settings instead. Now, keep in mind that if you're using a paper trading account, this only works if you're paper trading with an account from your broker. It won't work natively with Traders Post yet. So that's it. Just like that, you can have an automatic trading strategy on a channel that you draw on the chart. But like in classic Traders Post fashion, we've tried our hand at creating an indicator that might make this a little bit easier for you to draw channels and to automatically trade them. Um, you'll see that in the next video somewhere here.